Good morning, good morning, Friendship Missionary Baptist Church. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. This morning presiding our very own Gloria Grill. The word will be coming from our very own Reverend Donovan. Philip Donovan.
Come on, Mike.
whose name means exalted father in chapter 17. In chapter 22, he is called Abraham, the father of many nations. Amen. For 25 years, Abram and Sarah has trusted in God, Amen. God's promise. There is an interlude between the promise and its fulfillment. So, Sarah, so Abraham and Sarah, like us, run ahead of God to help facilitate his plans. Sarah advises Abraham, if you are going to have a son, you need to do it now with my handmaid servant, Hagar. Abraham goes along with that scheme that Ishmael is born, but Ishmael is not God's promise. Abraham is, Abraham is at, at the time was 75 when God made him to made him to promise that he would be the father of many nations. And God waits until Abraham is 99 and Sarah is 90. Sexual fire has extinguished and Abraham and Sarah is too old to have a baby. And God announces she's going to get pregnant. And reasonably, Sarah laughs. God says, why is Sarah laughing? I wish I had witnessed it. Is there anything too hard for God? Isn't that just like God? He waits until every opposite only son. But Ismir is the son, not a promise. Ismir is a son born out of an esteem. But Isaac is born out of God's plan. Amen. He's the son of promise. He's the son of prophecy. And he's the son of Abraham's old age. Amen. And God one day calls Abraham to bring him up to Mount Moriah to kill him. To sacrifice him on an altar. Amen. Now that request of God is not only puzzling, is absolutely wrong. And the Holy, the Holy Ghost let me know how Abraham was able to do it. Because Abraham had faith in God. Amen. He, I mean, he had faith in God. The difference you're going to make, I don't know what difference you're going to make in this situation, but I trusted you in the past, and you always come through. So whatever you tell me to do right now, I'm in your hands and I'm with you with my future. Amen. Amen. See, I look at the biblical studies that when we think about how things are impossible that God can do. And I, I look at things like because it's, it's impossible it's, it's a lot of things that are possible for David to take a slingshot and kill a giant nine feet, nine inches tall, 450 pounds. That make us, that cause us in our mind not to believe it unless you put God in it. And when God is in it, the red sea open. When God is in it, there's a wall.
his only son up to the mountain of Moriah and got ready to kill him. God told him, I, I see Abraham. I see that you trust in me. I see that you trust in everything you got to faith. Move your son. There's a lamb in the field. Amen. And that's the way that we have to look at things. God will always come, come through. And, and now that I, when, when I think about some things that I have been through about this time last year, I got more now than I ever had in 20 years. Thank you. 
South Carolina daily report cases in Chester County averaging 13 cases a day. York County, 214. Mm -hmm. Lancaster County, 71. And Fairfield, 14. Now, as the weather starts getting cooler, potentially going to rise. This, this thing is fighting to live all through the summer. So just please don't drop your guard down. Go to these public places that you're mad And just try to continue to be safe. Vaccine doses given year to date where really COVID started in South Carolina is 7.78 million. Fully vaccinated, 2.97 million. And the percentage by population fully vaccinated in South Carolina is 58.4. Y'all half of South Carolina still is not vaccinated. So please be careful on this being a short report because we have been really blessed. Amen. And I want you to know y'all, deep trustees are working to keep this place safe.